本日はニューバーガーバーマンの香港拠点でアジア株式のリサーチ責任者である YT ブーンをお招きしています。YT よろしくお願いします。足元は2021年10、12月期の決算発表シーズンですが、現状どういったトレンドが見られますでしょうか Thank you for having me again. So I think there are two things to note for the fourth quarter earnings season. First, we have seen indiscriminate tech sector sell off driven by a risk off sentiment and growth to value rotation driven by interest rate hike expectations. Second, is、uh, 5G related companies' fourth quarter earnings power is actually accelerating. CapEx in network infrastructure, data centers, and advanced semiconductor manufacturing is ramping up. Overall, we saw improvement compared to the prior year. ありがとうございます 5G という観点で決算を振り返るとどうでしょうか I think、um, it's worth highlighting two key trends. First, 5G network infrastructure and data center capex are accelerating in 2022. Many network equipment and semiconductor companies are benefiting from this trend. Second is the 5G system on chip in 5 nanometer or 7 nanometer are proliferating. MediaTek and Qualcomm are highlighting strong earnings momentum as these new chips are launched. 興味深いですね。どうやら 5G 関連企業の決算は良かったと見えます。良好な決算を発表した代表銘柄などはありますでしょうか So, names I would like to refer to is Finland's Nokia, Taiwan's MediaTek, and in the US, Monolithic Power. Nokia is pre reporting、uh, their strong results and revised up their earnings guidance given strong 5G network rollout in the US and also share gains in Europe. The backdrop of its market share gain is thanks to Huawei Ban and also an improvement in Nokia's product portfolio. MediaTek has just reported strong earnings in late January. We saw decent earnings growth and solid first quarter and the full year 2022 guidance. It is worth highlighting that this company is seeing growth in overseas markets such as the US and Europe. And the company is also seeing strong demand on high end 5G system on chip, which is helping their margins to continue to expand. In the US, Monolithic Power reported strong results. Better than expected as demand for power management chips for 5G base stations and data centers continues to grow. The company is gaining market share、uh, very rapidly. In all, I think 5G is really impacting broad、uh, industries and it's giving a lot of tailwind to many of these companies. 本日は貴重なお話をありがとうございました。引き続きよろしくお願いします。Thank you.